Hey guys, what's going on? This is Justin from Extreme Health Radio and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the story of uh, this conversation I was having the other day where uh, this person was telling me about this uh, high blood pressure that they have and hypertension. And it was really interesting because they were telling me about all about their background and the story behind their disease and all this stuff. And then she referred to it as a medical condition. And I just got to thinking about that word and how our language is so wrapped up in the word medicine and um, it's very very strange how this happens in our culture you know it's just very odd and I don't know if you guys have heard or seen those commercials or, or, or seen people talk about um, health conditions as a medical condition it's just very strange to me and in so much as their hypertension and high blood pressure or whatever it was that this person is dealing with um, it's more of a health condition than it is a medical condition. See, the medical industry wants to sort of medicalize everything and turn everything into a condition or like a precondition or a predisposal to something. And they want to get tests and run you in and get labels and, and figure out what your diagnosis is. So then once we get your diagnosis, then we can notify your insurance company. And then as soon as the insurance company is notified, they can uh, deny you coverage or they can um, reduce their level of care for you or something like that and it's just a whole bizarre thing because 500 years ago you know a hundred thousand years ago there was no such thing as a, as a medical condition this is a new thing um, and if you think about it our entire lives from cradle to grave has been medicalized uh, the birthing process when you're bur uh, born as a child as a young baby uh, it's a whole medical condition. You look at every uh, TV show and they show a woman giving birth in a hospital and she's screaming. There's guys in white lab coats. She's, she's yelling at her husband and um, this whole thing because um, you know in, in the scenes too they're rushing to the hospital because that's the only place that you can give birth and all of our health challenges, I don't even like to call them problems, our health challenges that we have that are in our life, our health challenges, they're just that, they're, they're issues with our, our health that should wake us up to realize that there's something going on with our physical body and in turn there's something going on spiritually and emotionally because that's where all health comes from. And so in our culture we want to sort of medicalize everything. Puberty for, for uh, boys and girls is medicalized too. Uh, they put women or young girls girls on these birth control pills that affect their thyroid, affect their hormones, um, have a cascading effect on their entire lives in terms of their health and their uh, biological abilities to withstand disease. Um, vaccinations when you're really, really young or when you're a toddler, um, that's a medical condition as well. You need to be vaccinated. Um, Everything in our, in our whole entire life is medicalized. The death process, um, we can no longer do what we want with the body of someone who, who dies like they used to do uh, hundreds and thousands of years ago where people would die and the family would, ma would maybe have a service and a, and a burial and they would bury the person in their backyard. They would anoint the person with, with essential oils and, and have this really, really um, amazing ceremony. But um, it's just crazy. And I, and I looked this up, this whole idea of medicalization of our entire uh, view of health. And um, I would invite you to read a book called uh, Murder by Injection by Eustace Mullins. And I'll put a link to it on Amazon down below and you can grab that book. And he goes through the whole history of the AMA and how it all started with the Rockefellers and all, everything that went on with the AMA and how it all got started and the really, really shady stuff that happened when AMA was trying to develop its foothold into um, the American population and trying to get people to be afraid of bacteria and to be afraid of all these diseases and conditions that are sort of out there. And um, it talks about how they were railroading uh, people like Harry Hoxie with the Hoxie formula for cancer and all kinds of things. It's a great book, Eustace Mullins, Murder by Injection. But I was doing some research and a guy named John James um, in the Journal of Patient Safety um, concluded um, after his son died in the hospital, that around 400,000 people a year die from going to the hospital, from um, um, improper care received at a hospital. And here we are in America thinking that 
we're just brainwashed and conditioned to think that all of our, our health care is somehow the best in the world and all this stuff is just simply not true. It's not true at all. And uh, I mean, hundreds, even if it's if he's wrong, let's say he's wrong, you know, let's say it's 100,000 people a year die as a result of poor um, care when entering into a hospital, infection, um, you know, improper use of medications, overdose, not looking to see if someone is allergic to a, uh, a medication. And, um, you know, regardless, he says 440,000 people a year die from going into the hospital, but it could be less than that, but even still, that's insane amount of people dying just from going to the hospital, it's crazy. And over 100,000 people a year die from taking properly prescribed uh, prescription medications. 65% um, of people in America are on some form of uh, prescription medication. Uh, we've medicalized every, everything. Everything's got a sort of a pre condition, or you got pre diabetes, or you have uh, pre hypertension, or um, you know, cancerous polyps if you have a, a colonoscopy. And um, it's just, it's an, uh, incredible. I highly recommend a book called uh, Our Daily Meds by Melody Peterson, too, where she talks about all this stuff. But just know that from cradle to grave, um, you have health challenges. They want to convince you to think that you have medical conditions and that you need to be diagnosed with a certain condition. Um, and that's their use of language and how they are trying to manipulate and control people to um, acquiesce their power and to sort of um, give over the rights to their own body and to f get them to be f so fearful that they must take these medications. And so uh, the first step in understanding what we can do as a society and as a culture about this is to realize uh, the subtle manipulation of language that happens um, when they try to convince you through fear, through fear campaigns, that you have a medical condition. People had conditions with their health since the beginning of time. Uh, but only recently did people start having medical conditions. And so I want to invite you to start looking at how language is being manipulated and how language is being used almost as a weapon um, to try to get fear into you so that then they can use that fear to manipulate what they want you to do. And so it's an age-old sales tactic and um, it's just important to be aware um, how language is used against us. So in any event, we've done lots of shows on Extreme Health Radio. If you're interested in this type of uh, content, um, natural health, alternative health, holistic healing, all kinds of great stuff. We've done over 380 shows on Extreme Health Radio if you're interested in uh, checking out more about our website. And I would also suggest um, and encourage you to sign up to our newsletter. Uh, we do a show every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And we do two news newsletters per week, Monday and Friday. Kate, my co-host, does the first uh, newsletter on Monday, and I do the one on Friday. And, um, and I would highly suggest you sign up so you never miss a show. We talk to authors, doctors, um, even medical doctors, um, naturopathic doctors, researchers, scientists about alternative health and things like that. So uh, sign up to our newsletter if you want. Join us what we got going on at Extreme Health Radio. Appreciate you watching. Please pass this show on to your friends or this uh, YouTube video on to your friends. I'd appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe below and click the thumbs up, like it, and share it. And I uh, appreciate that so much. And we'll catch you on the next video.